Hi again YouTubers, so this is my October, November uh, favorite face, I'm going to call it, video. And it's just kind of an overview of what I have been loving for this month or, you know, from the October 15th probably to November 15th using this one as an example because I want to do it in the middle of the month because I feel like the beginning of the month already has enough stuff with all the favorites and things like that. But um, I realized after the 15th that I was like, oh, I didn't do that video. So um, that's why I mean, I'm doing it now. It's a little bit late, but um, I still wanted to do it because I definitely think this is something fun to do. Everything you're going to see here is what I have on my face today. So I'm going to get started from the primers on down. The first thing that I've been using is Philips Milk of Magnesia. And I know this sounds weird, but it helps with oily skin. So, or to control oils. So what I've been doing is I just pour a little bit out onto a sponge and I dab it just on my forehead and my nose because that's my oily area. I don't want it all over my face because I don't feel any need to use it like on my cheeks or anything like that. Then I let that sit for just a second or so until it feels like it's dry, like you don't feel any wetness to it. And then I've been loving the Michael Todd Instant Fill Primer. I've been using this all over that. So it's been a good mix together. They've been working really well for me together and I've really been liking the results I get, how long my makeup lasts during the day, and just how overall it feels. So the next thing I've been using almost every day, I switched foundations up probably the most of all of these things, um, but I've been using this one the most I think this month, and that's the Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation with SPF of 15, and it's in the color Natural Beige, and that's the color I have on right now. Um, and my lighting today seems a little bit light. I don't know why, but um, at least it's better than the orangey color that it gets when I tape these at night. So, and then for concealer, I've been loving the Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff is awesome. I have it in NW25, which might be a shade too dark, but I'm using it just under my eyes. Um, so it's been okay, and with the pink undertone, but I love the staying power of that. Oh, I'm sorry, and for the Arbonne, I love the finish of this. It has a nice satin finish and phenomenal coverage to it. It's just a really great foundation. Um, and I've been setting most times with um, Bare Minerals, and I went back to the original because the other things have been holding on well enough that I haven't needed the matte one. Sorry, I'm grabbing one more thing. And or um, I have been setting it with the Vichy Derma Blend powder, setting powder. This is what it looks like, um, just called setting powder. Um, but I really like this, um, and I used a combination kind of of both today. I used the uh, Bare Minerals a little bit uh, on my cheeks and through my chin, and then I used this on my nose and on my forehead. So again, it's been working, and it's a lot of products. It sounds like a lot, but it kind of, when you have combination skin, it's good to mix different products to make it work the best for you. So then I've been loving my Chanel Bronze Universal, and it has some new name. It's like Soleil de Chanel or something. This one's almost down to nothing. I use a very little bit of it, just down on my cheekbones, just to contour, just a little bit during the days. I don't use it really heavy. I just use it very lightly. A couple key things, sorry. For foundation, I've been applying it with my Sigma F80. For concealer, I just use my fingers. Oh, where'd it go? For the Chanel Bronze Universal, I've been using my Sigma, Sigma Angled Top Kabuki, the F84. And I love this because it's just so nice. You can just buff a little bit in there and it really works great. Um, the blush I've been using consistently, and it's one of my favorites, and I can't find it anywhere anymore. Um, I'm sure Cargo on themselves might sell it, but it's t the color Tonga. This is the packaging. And the color doesn't look like much of anything, but it's just a beautiful flush. Like, I just love it for fall time. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I tend to apply it with... This one was a MAC one, but I can't even read the number anymore. The angled... And I just tap it on, and I love it. Um, next thing is eyes. Oops, I forgot one thing. I'm going to start with um, eyebrows. Is I use my Revlon Brow Fantasy Crayon and Gel in Brunette. 
I love this stuff because I take the crayon to fill in just the little part down here because I don't have any hairs throughout there. And then I use the gel just up through the main parts of my eyebrows and I love this. So the next thing I've been using for an eye primer is I use Michael Todd's eyeshadow base. I am in love with this stuff. This stuff is so awesome. I use it every day. Just so nice. I put it under my eye and on my lid and it just stays like nobody's business. For eyeshadows, I'm going to show you two different ones I've been using. Um, I'll show you first the one that I have on today. Um, I have been using this little Clinique set that came free when I purchased some skincare. It had its Color Surge Eyeshadow Trio. The colors are Chocolate Chip Stay Matte, Buttered Bronze, it's a single shade eyeshadow duo, and Teddy Bear, a single shade eyeshadow quad. I have no idea what those words mean, but... These are the colors. I've been putting this one all over my lid, this one into my crease, and then this one I use just to out define the outer V, and then under my eyes as well, and then I use it a little bit on top with the eyeliner. And I've been loving this. I'm gonna go through my uh, MAC ones and see if I can dupe all of these for you guys too. It's just a great, really neutral, like bronze colored eye. I love it. Um, the other one that I've been using if I'm not grabbing that one, is my Michael Todd. Um, and it is the Frosted Eyeshadow in Juicy Gossip and the Matte Eyeshadow in Chick. And this is kind of my quick go-to. I need a quick eyeshadow. I'll put this one right here all over the lid and I'll put this one a little bit into the crease and take it down under my eye as well. Either of those I'm in love with. Absolutely love them. Next thing I have been using, and this one's almost gone, it's called the Milani Liquid Fi Metallic Eyeliner Pencil in black. This one's almost at the end. Let me see if I can... Oh, can't grab my other one. They start out much larger. This was a brown one. But um, I love this. I line my waterline on the top with it, and it stays all day for me. It really is a great, great liner. I love it, and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, the next thing that I have been using, my, oh, for my eyeshadows, all right, I'll show you the brush, two brushes that I use the most to do this, where is it, three brushes. Um, I tend to put the all over color on with this Kirkland brush, I love this brush, it's just a flat brush, it's got good density to it, I use that one uh, to put the all over color on, and then I use a MAC 217 for the color into the crease and to blend and I use my Bare Essentials Heavenly Liner Blending Brush for under my eyes and into the crease and then I take the 217 and blend it back out. So I love those. Um, and then for my top line, on the liner on top of my eyes and down through the base of my eye, I use my Stila Smudge Pot. This is what it looks like and this is the color black. I've used a lot of it. I have a bunch of different gel liners and this one does amazing for me. It's my favorite one. It just stays all day. It doesn't move um, and it just gives such great results. I really like this product. And it's so easy just to smudge into that lower lash line. It turns out great. Um, for Oh, and I put that on with an angled 266, a MAC one. Sorry, I'm so stuffy today. And then for mascara, I have been loving two mascaras, and it's the Bare Essentials, or Bare Minerals, sorry, Flawless Definition Mascara and the Flawless Definition Volumizing Mascara. I tend to put on the Flawless Definition one first, let it sit for a second, and then I put on the Volumizing one. It gives such a great lifted effect. I absolutely love it. It just has such, I mean, I haven't touched, since I've gotten both of these, I haven't really touched any other mascaras of mine. I love those. Um, the last part is my lips. I haven't been doing very many glosses or things like that. Um, just as the fall's been on, um, I've been doing more lipsticks and things like that. And I've been using my NYX Mauve Liner. And this is what it looks like. It's this color here. Along with my MAC Viva Glam 5. It's just, it doesn't look so pretty on in the tube, but it's just a gorgeous color on. So that is my face of the month. Um, I think this is a fun idea. I hope it helps you guys a little bit. Obviously in the down bar, I won't have um, 
what I'm wearing because I'm going through it like right here so you should be able to see everything that I'm using but if you have any questions on any of these products let me know and um, most of them will be coming up in reviews and some of them have already been in them um, so I definitely love these products um, and what I've been using this month so I hope you guys enjoyed this have a great day bye